Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand yet another concept related to microeconomics, which is the diminishing marginal utility. Now, in our previous videos, you must have uh, understood the concept related to the law of demand where we studied about the inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. Now, we said that in the law of demand, we draw the demand curve as a downward sloping curve. And the reason for it is the diminishing marginal utility or the law of DMU. But what exactly it is, is we are going to understand in this lecture. So, let's begin. Now, before we go into the concept of diminishing marginal utility, we need to understand what exactly is marginal utility, right? So, here we have the concept of marginal utility. This particular concept of diminishing marginal utility is actually related to a very psychological or behavioral concept of consumer behavior. So, Many of the economists do not consider the DMU as a very fundamental theory or they do not consider this theory as a very uh, absolute theory or exact theory. However, still it is a very fundamental concept of consumer behavior because it gives a certain reason to the abstractness of the consumer behavior. We might be considered as rational consumers according to the theory of microeconomics but still there is a lot of irrationality also we uh, might think of a commodity highly because of a certain advertisement related to it right or we might purchase a commodity because we have seen it across the globe or we have seen it uh, by, consumed by so many other um, friends or family members so you might tend to purchase that item also so there are so many reasons other than the price that are associated with consumer behavior and which is why the diminishing marginal utility stands good even at those times now what exactly it is Marginal utility can be called as a conceptual function where we say that when an additional satisfaction is received, okay, that refers to the additional satisfaction or additional benefit or additional utility that we derived, okay, it is derived to a person from consuming one more unit of a commodity or a service. Now, what does this mean? That the addition that is done, the addition to satisfaction, the addition to your utility, the addition to your benefit, when one more unit of the same commodity is consumed by you, okay, then that's known as the marginal utility concept, okay. So, uh, understand this fact that you have a pizza, Okay, and you have a pizza and there are about six slices in that pizza. Now imagine that when you eat one slice of the pizza, your utility is maximized. Probably you were hungry before or probably you were craving for that pizza. So your utility is maximized. Now tell me whether when you consume the second slice of the pizza, do you feel the same amount of satisfaction? Or do you feel lesser satisfaction? And why is it so? Well, yes, you guessed it right. When you eat second bite of the same thing that you were having, your satisfaction, of course, you get some satisfaction, you get some utility, but it is not exactly equal to the first bite or the first slice of the pizza. Okay, so even if you crave for some food item or any good or service for that matter, still you will not be equally satisfied with the second, third, fourth units of the same commodity when you consume it on a regular basis or a continuous basis. Okay, so uh, and because you know, we, there is a certain um, 
there's a certain limit to how much we can eat which is why food is food items are very easy to connect to and which is why they are used as good examples when we talk about the diminishing marginal utility concept you must have seen that in various books you will be uh, given examples like oranges and apples or like pizza or chocolates or something like that so food items are relative because when you eat them um your stomach gets full after a certain point of time and that's why you know that okay this amount of satisfaction that you can achieve from a certain commodity will have a full stop at a certain point of time right so which is why it's easier to connect but apart from food items you can also take any other example and still this thing will hold good okay now when we talk about marginal utility it is the addition to satisfaction that you are getting when you eat or when you consume any good or service uh, unit by unit okay but when we talk about diminishing marginal utility we see through examples also we saw that when the slice of pizza goes from first slice to second slice to third slice your satisfaction gradually deteriorates you will be more fuller you will be uh, your cravings are also going to halt somewhere and you will be more satisfied and you will be like okay now i can't have more probably after three slices you will be like no i cannot have all the six slices by three slices my whole satisfaction has been you know uh, received and now if i st uh, still have it it will just deteriorate my health and i will you know um, i will not be able to have any more slices of the pizza this negative impact is related to the concept of diminishing so when we say diminishing marginal utility the diminishing satisfaction after each bite after each consumption of each unit is the impact or is the concept that we are learning right now now mathematically or numerically also let's have the idea of what we are talking about you must have seen these uh, examples as well so you can do this math with me let's assume that we have a certain amount of commodity okay you are consuming certain commodity okay so let's say you are consuming samosa okay all the indians and other international friends of ours know what the samosa is it's a cuisine and it's an indian cuisine that everyone internationally loves but how many can you have depends on your utility that you gain from it each samosa additionally okay now we have zero units consumed meaning that you are um going by the streets of delhi and you or you're going by the streets of madhya pradesh and you are um, trying to find good outlet of samosas okay and as soon as you look at hot piping samosas coming out of the kadhai you will be like okay now this is the shop that i want to go to right so now when zero samosas are consumed obviously the total utility or the total satisfaction that you gain is zero and there is no addition to your utility there is no addition to your satisfaction because you're still finding right so which is why there is no marginal utility because there is nothing that you can add correct now you found your shop and now you are digging in your first bite of your first samosa right so this is your first samosa and let's say that the total utility that you gain from it is 15 now what is this 15 what are the units when we talk about utility as the concept given by marshall we talk about utils which is a certain unit that is given um in terms of the satisfaction that you get it is not a very monetary term it's a hypothetical term because it, there's certain unit that has to be associated with your satisfaction so you call it utils okay now you get 15 utils right now 
let's start doing the math also so initially when you had zero samosas your utility was zero total utility was zero now that you have one samosa your utility has become 15 so the marginal utility what has been added to your utility your there is 15 that has been added to your utility okay an easier way to do it is what you subtract this or you subtract 0 by 15 or you subtract the initial number or initial utility by the su uh, succeeding utility and that's how you get the answer that is how formula based answer is but logically you just need to understand the logic kya hua hai pe? there's an addition of 15 to your utility right now second samosa round when you take the second unit of that samosa now how much utility you have gained the total utility which means the summing up of utility now has become 28 but the addition so now earlier the addition was 15 now the addition is 28 minus 15 so 28 minus 15 is 13 right and same goes for each and every unit okay so for three third unit of samosa or third samosa your utility is 40 total utility utility is 40 but the marginal utility or the addition that your um, satisfaction has given or uh, you know sat the satisfaction that has been added to your amount of utility is how much 40 minus 28 which is 12 okay now similarly we can do it for others as well 51 minus 40 is 11 and 61 minus 51 is 10 now what you see over here is marginal utility and what you see over here as a structure is the diminishing marginal utility this is the concept because of which we understand that okay this is the reason why the demand curve is a downward sloping curve okay this is the reason why demand curve is a downward sloping curve because after every additional unit of a commodity the satisfaction is declining so quantity of the commodity is increasing but the satisfaction is gradually declining and which is why there is a the demand curve is downward sloping right so this is the concept of the diminishing marginal utility. Now finally, what you need to understand is the fundamental law of satisfaction, which is also the diminishing marginal utility's alternate name. So you can also say that the diminishing marginal utility is also known as the fundamental law of satisfaction or the fundamental law of psychology, because it's the psychology which decides the consumer behavior or the consumer outcome uh, or outcomes, right? So there are two things that have to be uh, paid attention to. The first thing is the marginal utility of commodities and services will be based on standard units, meaning that you cannot uh, compare that uh, first you take a, let's say for example, you are drinking coffee okay and you are talking about the marginal utility or diminishing marginal utility of a coffee okay so you drink first cup of coffee that's your first unit of coffee right then second unit of coffee you just take a sip and you say that okay this is the second unit of coffee no you can't say that if the first unit of coffee is one cup of coffee then the second unit of coffee also need to be one cup of coffee it cannot be a spoonful of coffee coffee or a sip of coffee okay so the standardization of units need to be there second important point is that the consumption need to be continuous meaning that you cannot eat 
वन समोसा टुडे एंड सेकेंड समोसा टुमोरो एंड थर्ड समोसा डे आफ्टर एंड से दैट ओके देर इज प्रॉब्ली नो डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी दैट्स नॉट अ कंटिन्यूस कंजम्पन कंटिन्यूटी इन कंजम्पन मीन्स दैट नाउ यू हैड इट देन आफ्टर कंज्यूमिंग वन थिंग देन अगेन in continuation you have to consume the second unit then third unit the fourth unit then then of course we can apply the law right so this is the whole context of the diminishing marginal utility i hope that you understood this concept we will be keeping up with more such interesting and informative concepts with different other modules as well till then stay tuned to ecoholics thank you